No matter which phone you choose to replace your Note 7, you'll want to be sure to add a slick wraps. Slick wraps not only protect your phone from scratches, they also add grip to your device, making it less likely that you would drop it, and it also adds a bit of flair. Slick wraps has a design to suit every taste from their natural series to their hero series to the galactic series and even their villain series. There's something here for everyone. I'll be sure to include a link in the description so you can pick up your slick wraps today. What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Motor X and I have some very bad news. The Note 7 is officially dead, which is totally sad days. I already miss my Note 7. So now you're wondering which phone is the best phone to replace the Note 7. I've got my top five devices to replace the Note 7. Let's go ahead and get started. If you really love the Note series, you love the S Pen, you love that SAMOLED, you love a great camera, and you love all the pro features that the Samsung Note series provides, you're taking Samsung up on their full refund offer, I say keep the money and go back to using your Note 5. Now I know that the Note 5 is more than a year old by now, but keep in mind that the Galaxy S8 will be releasing soon. We should see it announced at Mobile World Congress in February, and then we'll see a release of the device shortly after that. So what you may wanna do is pocket that 800 and something dollars and save that for the S8 and S8 Edge, which is coming right around the corner. So if you're saying to yourself, I really love the Samsung experience, I don't have to have the S Pen and I don't have to have the iris scanner, but I don't want to use a one and a half year old phone in the Note 5, then the next best bet is going to be the Galaxy S7 Edge. With the S7 Edge, you're going to get the same beautiful display, you're going to get the same great dual curved edge design, and you're also going to get the same best in class camera that you got from the Note 7. You're still going to get awesome performance, expandable storage, and waterproofing on the S7 Edge, and you're actually going to save a little bit of money by going with that device. Being that there is no space needed for the S Pen Reservoir, you're actually going to get a little bit more battery. Overall, I say a Note 7 fan will be perfectly pleased with a Galaxy S7 Edge. If you've really been put off by the Galaxy Note 7, an experience having returned your phone twice to eventually not ever get to have the phone back and you just want to step away from Samsung for a moment, I really don't blame you. You could go with the LG V20. The LG V20 is the phone that LG meant to directly compete with the Note 7. While the LG V20 doesn't come with a stylus, it does have a few tricks up its sleeve. The V20 features a premium design while still having a removable user replaceable battery. It also has that quad DAC for a premium sound experience. And even if you're listening to the phone speaker, it's one of the loudest, most clear speakers that I've ever heard on a phone. It still has a best in class camera experience with that dual lens camera on the back. I've been able to get stunning photos with both the standard lens and also that wide angle lens. There are several reasons why I think the V20 stands out and it makes a perfect replacement for the Note 7. The Moto Z Force has to be one of the most underrated devices of the year. One of the reasons is because of its higher price tag and the fact that they decided to go Verizon exclusive in the beginning. The good news is that you can now get the Moto Z Force on any carrier through their unlocked version. This is modularity at its best. You can do things like add a projector, you can add a JBL speaker, and you can add battery pack mods. The phone features an awesome 21 megapixel camera, which takes great photos in daytime and nighttime. The Z Force also includes shatter shield technology, which means you can drop your phone from just about any height and the screen will not shatter. If you're really looking for durability in a phone, you want that larger display and you love the idea of modularity, then the Moto Z Force could be a perfect replacement for your Note 7. Last but not least, I have to include the Pixel XL. Now this is going totally opposite from the Note 7. You're not really getting a Note 7 experience with the Pixel XL, you're kind of getting the opposite experience and the fact that the Pixel XL is kind of a bare bones experience. It has pretty much no features at all. What you're buying with the Pixel XL is a premium build quality phone with great performance and excellent software. You won't find features that you've come to know and love from the Note 7 like wireless charging, expandable storage, or even waterproofing, but what you will get is a pure version of Android right out of the box. You're going to get unlimited storage of 4K video and photos through Google Photos, and you'll be the first to experience new versions of Android on this device. All right guys, hopefully this video has made your decision for which phone you should shift to coming from the Note 7. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. 
Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.